I want a mature America more controlling over youth. Where the schools are not intoxicated with illiteracy and dominated students walk around feeling proud of them instead of disrespecting schoolwork and failing miserably. I want an America where the disturbed youth have self-respect, where freedom is not the infested road to lonesome exception. For I respect my country in a profound, contemptuous way, and I know the mystifying path to the newborn redemption. Technology can stop bad boys from looking for penetration and turning into frightful, threatening, self-destructive demons, halting the fire of their intimate internal combustion while stopping them from spreading their bad, criminal-minded semen. We can change the mean, despicable boys into mindless robots, rearranging their brains until they lack mortal imperfections, when replacing the exerting force of energy with matter, avoiding their now inessential, wasteful, manly erections. They will become super flawless computer powering soul, deleting grotesque and perfect human evolution glitches, as menacing bad boys will become eternally obsolete, with electric and calculating computer control switches. Practical applications of science can stop girls who battle, ending the cursing and fighting in favor of perfect sweetness, bringing back the impeccable days of undefiled nice girls with intense energy for the lost domestic arts and neatness. There would be no pregnancies from the submissive robotic minds, for only natural good girls would be able to reproduce and America could be the great innovators once again, ending all the feeble-minded parental and teacher abuse. America could play God for its academic advancement, creating digital rendering to design a new life form, using only important sophisticated scholarly traits, erasing evil to produce progressive studious reform. Artificial intelligence is less prone to human error. For genetically speaking, the dense humans are inferior. So we replace the unintelligent brains with computer chips. And the worst children become reasonable, then superior. Dense American students would once again compete globally, changing the educational fate of future generations while advancing in the abstract areas of math and science to create better teacher-student instructional relations. The open-handed bleeding heart would say that it is stifling, but its unpretentious ideology follows logically to take all commendable, worthless students who would never learn and turn them into specialized, governable machinery. They would be controlled by the smartest adults, not politicians, then programmed for novel, specialized knowledge in a factory. As American ideas could once again have integrity, built in with manipulated domination of circuitry, there would be no need for aggressive and sexual misconduct. And America would be the number one country by design with all programmed or naturally gifted for education as American students would leave other countries far behind. Then we could change the haywired brains of adult politicians with a revitalized for honesty and kindness service plan and America would be the greatest country known on earth. The newborn American catchphrase slogan would be, yes we can. <laughs>